Hello, Eduardo. Hello. Hi, yes, hi. Hey, you are late today. <laughs> I've been checking my watch. Haha. I was waiting for you and then I went to, to pick up something in the kitchen and then you were here. Okay. I, I thought you were on vacations. <laughs> ah. No, but you are you are there, right? In the office. Yeah, I'm in the office. Yeah. But I, I I think it's uh the 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 what is the the cool? No. The so, what? La gripe. Cold. Cold. The cold is beginning. It's, oh, you got the cold. I see. My God. But it's not um, severe. Like, I yesterday I got some students with that problem in my classes. Ah. But they have pain, pain in the body, fever. No, that only... Uh, Yours is normal. Estornudar bastante. Sneezing. You're sneezing. Sneezing. Mm-hmm. You're sneezing, sneezing a lot. Sneezing. Shoo. Right? Shoo. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so you should take like, you know, maybe mm. you should drink a tea. It is good. No, I don't, you don't like, like tea. tea? Oh. <laughs> lemon tea. I'm, I prefer soup with lemon and salad with lemon and lemon Le limonada, <laughs> uh, but not tea. lemonades. Uh -huh. Lemonade. Okay, salad with lemon. Yeah, that is good for vitamin C, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, last time I was like this. Uh, I got um, ginger tea. Té de, té de, de jengibre. Jengibre. Uh -huh. Ginger. So it was good. It was very good. It helped yeah, me I, uh, for my throat because I usually get throat. infections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but and what are you taking? Nothing? No pills, no aspirins or whatever for your no, cold? John, no. I, no. Okay. I, I only... Uh, dejar pasar el tiempo. <laughs> she just let it go. <laughs> yeah, I just desarrolle. I don't like... Okay. It. Uh, yeah, feels. yeah, it, sometimes it's not good to, to cut, you know, the Yeah, because the, the the, my stomach came maybe uh, uh, confused or tras, mm -hmm. or trastorn. Mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah, the, yeah, you can have a, a, sometimes a burning, burning stomach mm -hmm. because of the aspirins or any kind of, uh, you know, a medicine. No. A, sometimes people get like astritis. Okay, depending on the kind of aspirants, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, but that's, that's, I hope everything is fine, huh? Okay, <laughs> if you want to sneeze, don't worry, you just sneeze. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let's... last time I was in my class, I was like, oh my God, uh huh? No, but I was I... talking, so it's difficult, it's difficult. Yeah. Sometimes when you have runny nose too, yeah. uh -huh. I need, I need <laughs> be ready with your tissues. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, get ready with that. Okay, well, we're going to go over, you know, um, well, uh, yesterday we almost finished, okay, this part, and today we're going to finish. Do you remember what we were discussing yesterday? Yeah, only only the adverbial clauses of time, the, the uh -huh. first part. The first part, the, exactly. Yeah. When, after, before, right? Yeah, okay. and I... The other others uh, expression or about the time is uh, like uh, let me see uh, uh, you remember some others I, I read some mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. here we see. have some others for example right after as soon as uh, while uh -huh, uh -huh. while uh -huh, very good those are other uh, clauses that we can use at the beginning, right? Yeah. Coma, and then we continue with the second part of the sentence. That's it, okay? okay? Well, yesterday we were uh, giving examples based on weddings, right? Okay, yeah. so we mentioned that it is not just necessary to use this topic with weddings, but uh, we can use it with other kind of topics, right? Okay, but, uh, and, uh -huh. the, the word I, I don't, uh, but, a shrine. Mm -hmm. the, the, I I don't know. A shrine in Japan is like a temple. 
o sí, santuario. Sí, es un santuario, ajá, like es a como el altar, here. el altar, ajá, el altar. Yes, el, ajá, en in, in something religious, very, eh, <coughs> like in El Salvador, bueno, well, en El Salvador we don't have shrines, but we have It's eh, holy for churches. Mm -hmm. Holy for, exactly, very holy. That's it. Uh -huh. They are, uh, whenever they get uh, married, they have a celebration, important celebration. Sometimes when people die, they are uh -huh. taken to shrines too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shrine. That's a shrine. shrine. Okay. Hey, Jose is here. Hi, Jose. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. What about you? Ready? Uh, pretty good. Okay, Hi. nice. Very nice to have you in the class. Okay. Well, we're going to try to to end up with this uh, topic that we started yesterday. Uh, then I will ask you to give me some other examples. Okay, here I have six sentences. Uh, they are uh, with the adverbial clauses of time. Then we have the comma, okay? And then we have the second part that it's A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? What you have to do is to put uh, the sentences together okay so this is uh what you're gonna what you're gonna do for example the number one we're gonna start reading with the number one jose can you read the first part okay before a man and woman get married they usually they usually and we have six options a pays for the wedding and reception Go on a short trip called a honeymoon, give the bride and groom a gift or some money, gives the woman an engagement ring, begin to plan the wedding, date each other for one year or more. So before a man and a woman get married, they usually, so what do you consider is the, 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 the second part of the sentence? Uh, letter E. Letter E. Mm -hmm. Begin to plan the, the wedding. Begin to plan uh, the, the wedding. wedding. Ah, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. I think the Only F. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, F. you think, Eduardo, is the letter? F. F. Can you read the answer? They date each other for a year or more. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. The, the, that's they, that's they correct. Is. Mm hmm they, they they usually date each other for one year or more exactly okay how long uh, in your case uh were you dating your your wife now eduardo uh two, two years and a half oh two years and a half very good and you jose uh, around two years around two years okay now tell me what made you think that that person was the one for you in those two years what qualities did you see in uh, your current I'm, wife uh -huh, Jose? i'm a lover and response response respons responsible responsible mm -hmm. responsible uh -huh. and good, good work ah, okay uh-huh very good okay was was she your first girlfriend Sorry? Was she your first girlfriend? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> After <Yeah>. seven. <laughs> um. Okay. How many yes. do you have here? Ah, okay, about <laughs> seven. Wow, Jose. <laughs> you were so in love. Okay. And what about yes. you, Eduardo? How many, uh, I mean, what qualities did you see in your current wife? Uh, the the Many qualities, best, uh, good qualities, but the, the most important for me is her faith. Ah, okay, uh -huh. very good. Uh -huh. Good, very because nice. This, this is very, very important <laughs> to me. And both have the same. That's important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It is, I think it's not recommendable to have both different faiths because no. then it's going to be a problem. It's a problem. One person Ima is gonna run this way and the other this way. Im so. Imagine when when they have children. Yeah, children. Uh, children. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very very. Where? Uh, what? Oh, what kind of education? Right, a religious yeah, education. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I it's I agree good. with you. 
Uh -huh. the, the Bible says, no nice and you desigual. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's much better. I think it's much better. I, I remember I had a, a, a boyfriend with different points of view. Okay, and different things, and nah, it didn't work. Only two months, no more. Okay. And then I said, oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, so imagine now in a marriage. It's so different, okay? Very nice. So before a woman and a man get married, they usually date each other for one year or more. In your case, two years and a half, and Jose, about two years, okay? Great. Continue, Jose, with the second part. When a couple gets in, in jail, engaged, 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 engaged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the man often, the man often, aha, uh -huh. what is the, the correct answer? Letter D, D gives the woman an engage, en, engagement, engagement, engagement ring. ring, excellent, very good. When a couple gets engaged, the man often gives the woman an engagement ring, very good, okay? Is it possible for a woman to give one to the man? What do you think? Podría mm, ser. <laughs> could be, could be, uh-huh. For example, in your case, Jose, could you just like pretend that your, your current wife, uh, uh, in the past, gave you your your engagement ring. In how do you say in in cada? <laughs> ni. In, 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 in one in one knee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On her knees, right? <laughs> Jose, would you like? To... <laughs> okay, would you marry me? Uh -huh. Yeah. And you, Jose, you were like. Would you, uh, have, you would have said yes, no, maybe, or let, what? Let me let me think, please. <laughs> <laughs> let me think, come on. <laughs> Give me a month. Give me a month. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, come on, you're so terrible. Okay, well, that's it, the engagement ring. Do you remember, Eduardo, the day that you gave the engagement ring to your your wife, or you didn't give one? There are some couples that they never share one. I remember I I, I give uh, I gave to, I gave to uh, to my uh, girlfriend uh -huh. a ring, uh -huh. but I don't remember I I tell I, I told, told her, mm -hmm. I told her that that's uh, the phrase if, if she if she want to marry with with me uh, I, with don't, I don't ah really you don't remember no 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 do you remember this the is, place. The place, yes, Metro Sur. <laughs> oh, really? Metro Sur. Okay. Uh, Metro in, Sur. In the, in, inside the, the car. Oh, ah, in the parking. In the parking, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Would... And she said, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And what about you, Jose? Where did no, you get no. your engagement ring? I, I did. I didn't. Oh, you didn't. You just told no, her. No, mm -hmm. no. And uh -huh, only only I, I asked her. Uh, you asked her, uh huh. Would you, would you like to bear with me? Uh huh. Oh. And, and she and she said, Oh yes. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh, you remember very well, huh? Where where did it happen? I forget. Ah, oh, come on! No way. You forgot? No. <laughs> you don't yeah. remember? Well, I don't Eduardo remember. in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Sur, right? Ah, it's so nice. Okay. I, I, I think it was in the bus stop. In the bus uh, stop? Oh, in the bus oh. stop. Yeah, and raining, right? Oh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Would you marry me? <gasps> yeah, there are some people, there are some, some men that are very, like, uh, I don't know, they don't like to plan many things. They are just like, like that and i think it works it works a lot there are some some people that prepare a party or whatever a big surprise and sometimes it doesn't work very well okay but that's nice very good eduardo number three read the number three please uh right after a couple gets engaged they usually mm -hmm. the letter e Letter E, uh huh. They begin to plan to the wedding. The wedding, uh huh. Very good. They begin to plan the wedding. Very good. Okay. Jose, number four. 
when a woman gets married her fa her family usually mm -hmm. pays pay for the wedding and reception and reception okay very good this is in the united states i don't in the know united states. in el salvador <laughs> here <laughs> uh, a, a préstamo a loan <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and, Jose, okay, when a woman gets married, her usually, no, 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 uh, let's see, right after a couple gets engaged, they usually go to a bank and ask for uh, a loan. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, good, good. Well, this is in the United States, the woman pays, the woman's family pays everything. Mm -hmm. The party and the other... The, the, Everything, uh, uh, the party Everything. and the reception, okay? Yeah. That's it. Wow. No, so I don't want to nice. get married in another country. <laughs> okay. I think it has to be, you know, it has to be, for me, I don't know, in your personal case, uh, for me, I think uh, it has to be shared. Okay, mm -hmm. some things for the men, some things for the, the, the woman's family. Because only the men's family, well, is going to be a lot. Sometimes it's not the family, it's just the men mm -hmm. okay, that has to pay. So I think it has to be 50 and 50. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, number five. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, okay. think, I think now uh, the best is not, not have party. Uh, only, only for... Only, 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 uh -huh. no, only the, the lawyer. Uh, mom. Uh, honeymoon. The honeymoon. The honeymoon. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. I agree. I totally, I totally agree with you. I think uh, that nowadays people spend too much money in, in a reception or in a big party. But it's not just because they want. It's just they want to impress. They want to show other people that they have a big party. So in my personal case, well, I consider it is much better to save the money for my house, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. to, to buy things, to have everything, because life after you get married is complicated. It's not so easy mm -hmm. economically, emotionally. There are many things, okay? So I, I, I agree with you, Jose. Uh -huh. in, my, in, in my case, I, I have a, a five, around five padrinos. Five. Five, uh, you, how do you say padrino one, yesterday? One, one paper for a cake, one, uh, another for the dress. Ah, uh, for the dress, yes. uh -huh. yes. Okay, I, hey, that was good. Mm -hmm. Close family or close relatives or close, close friends? Close, close friends, close uh, friends. Okay, very and nice. family too. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, very nice. This is another option, if they want to, right? They insisted. Ah, great. Ah, that's all. You say, oh, oh, no, 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 Jose. You, of course, go ahead. <laughs> if there are more collaborators. <laughs> yes, a, a, another option is rent the dresses. Rent the dresses, exactly. Yes. Only for a moment, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only for a moment. I told you, I did it in a collective way. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there. Was Siempre se gasta, pero es menos. Yeah, of course, of course. It's it. With jeans, no problem. It's just, it's just the, to sign, right? Uh -huh. No, the thing is that, yeah, we are, our economy is not that big, you know, to start doing things for spending $20,000, $10,000, or even $6,000, $5,000. So I better use it for the house, right? For the the things that are going to, or, or the time ahead, okay? Very nice. Number five, this is for you, Eduardo. When, when guests, guests go to a wedding. Wedding, uh-huh. Wedding, A wedding, uh -huh. Wedding, they almost always. Always, always that's it. Uh, give, letter C. Letter C, great. Give the bridge and groom. Oh. The, the bridge is puente, bride. okay. Bride. Bride. Yeah. The, the, the bride, bride and groom. A gift or some money. Or some money. Very good. Okay. Yesterday. It's a, it's, we, mm -hmm. it's a bridge. It's a bridge to happiness. A bridge to happiness. Yes. Okay. Very good. The bride. Jose. Bride. Eh, Jose. Eh, is it easy to get married? 
Sorry? Is it easy or was it easy for you to, to start your marriage? Mm, no, no, not really. Not really. Not it's really. like having a life with someone else. Uh, what do you think? Sorry. Okay, he got a call, I think. Okay. Yeah. And for you, Eduardo, you think it was easy for you? Uh, I, I think, yes, was mm -hmm. easy. Because uh, I had a, a good uh, job. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And uh, my wife, uh, 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 she didn't. Mm -hmm. Didn't job or work in this. In didn't this work. Moment. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. But the uh, in short time, mm -hmm. he, she had a, a good job too. Ah, okay, very good, very nice. That was that was very nice. I think there are good things, you know, like what we call in English ups and downs, right? Mm -hmm. Ups and downs. So, but the most important thing is to be united, right? Together. Yeah. As a family, great, very good. Now the number six, Eduardo, the last one, right after. Right after a couple gets married, they usually mm -hmm. go, mm -hmm. let it be, go let it be. we call the hon a honeymoon. The honeymoon, okay, very good. Did, did, you, did you use the, 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 the just married, uh, in the, the, car. The, 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 in the car, uh -huh. no. when some can <laughs> No, no, no. No? Uh, no. Okay. I don't you finish like you finished the party finish with the all party the guests. Or, and the next day the... you went to the honeymoon. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Okay. For one week you said, right? Yeah, more or less for weeks. More or less for one week. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, that's it. Great. Good. Well, this is the part talking about, you know, um, uh, weddings, okay, just to refresh, okay, your memory with adverbials, when, okay, right after, you mention another one that is before, after, you mention while, okay, as soon as, right, those are some as. kind of phrases, right, that we can use for expressing a when, time, okay? When, whenever, Whenever, uh-huh, there until, are a lot, here until. we have just like four. Till or until, right? Both are okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Both are okay. Very nice. Okay. That's it. Any questions so far related to this topic? No, no question. No questions. No, no question. Okay. Very good. Okay. Why uh, then? Um, yesterday, uh, we started with Eduardo at the beginning. I, I remember we started to talk about many things. And I told you, Eduardo, hey, this topic is similar to the one that we are about to start, okay? And the section number four, it's about this, right? Times have changed. That's it. You remember, uh, for example, Jose, when you were a teenager, maybe, or about 20 years old, uh, in October, do you remember the weather? Uh, let's see, very, very uh, windy. Very windy. Uh -huh. Very windy, and and the it is a, a light cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful, mm -hmm. right? Beautiful weather. Yesterday, yes. I, I, yesterday I was a little depressed. <laughs> it was raining a in, lot. In, uh -huh. in the in the afternoon, uh -huh. uh, the children's children <laughs> flew flew. Like this, right? Yes. The picture. Uh -huh. Flew kites. Uh -huh. Flew kites. Uh -huh. Very good. They flew kites. Uh, I remember I wore a, a, a sweater until, I mean, the whole day mostly, right? I, I, I always uh, got my sweater in the morning at 1, 2 p.m., Right in the afternoon at four o'clock, we wore the sweater again because it was very cold. But now, guys, the times have changed. Okay, so this ten, is the topic that years, we're gonna be talking. Mm -hmm. Ten years, ten years ago, I mm -hmm. don't have any more sweaters. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. only two, right? Two sweaters, mm -hmm. one jacket. Yeah, the same. It's the same. Even my clothes is changing. 
because in the past, I remember I was in my, in my uh, classrooms with air conditioning and I got a sweater because I was very cold. Nowadays, it's not necessary for me to wear a sweater because the weather, you know, is changing at the same time. So uh, I don't feel like the necessity, okay? So this is the topic that we're going to discuss today, past, present, and future, okay? Past, present, and future. Here we have a three things, right? Three tenses, the past tense, the present tense, and the future in three categories. The number one, entertainment. The second one is transportation. And number three, communications, okay? Let's start with Eduardo with the number one, entertainment in past, present, and the future. Please, Eduardo. Uh, the, the, the radio and movies. Uh-huh. In I, the I past, remember, radio and movies, right? Yeah. I remember the, the movies in, in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> black and white. Uh -huh, I remember. Uh, like uh, Cantin Flans, right? And uh -huh. Charlie Chaplin. Resortes. Uh-huh. Resort. Okay. White Pedro, and... Pedro Infanto. Pedro Infante. Infante. Yes, it's true. Uh, black and white. Okay. Good. Black and white. What about the present? The Read the present, the computer. Computer games, high definition TV, mm -hmm. and 3D movies. And 3D movies. This is the present now. <laughs> it's different, right? I remember my first color TV was in the year of 2000. 2000. 2000. My first color, yes, my first color TV. Ha, and I was so happy. Well, 2000 or 1999 or 1998, I don't remember, but those years, more or less. Uh, you know, my first program was La Usurpadora, <laughs> the soap opera. What? <laughs> La Usurpadora. The, the, ah, you remember no. a soap opera? <laughs> La novela. La novela. Yeah, and, and at night, because my father arrived to my house at night, we connected and we were so happy. Okay. And the first program that they played, <laughs> it was uh, the, the soap opera about eight o'clock. So I saw colors and I said, wow. When I was in the school, I have, I have a very, maybe, well, now it's not sad, but I remember in the past it was sad for me because my, my, my classmates in the school said, hey, did you watch the program? Yeah. And, and they started to talk about the programs, the TV programs. Mm -hmm. And one day uh, I said, yes, I said, y bien nice, ¿verdad? La camisa morada, dije yo. The purple, the purple, uh, a shirt of one uh -huh. uh, character and they look at me like this like ah purple no it's green and uh -huh. i was like oh god <laughs> and everybody come on it's green that's not purple it's because your, your, your colors in your tv is was changed no no i didn't uh -huh. have color tv ah, uh -huh. you know, you know. i lied no. Uh -huh. I, I, I remember a, a TV <laughs> uh, in black and white, and they uh -huh. put a film with ah, color okay. uh -huh. to, to simulate colors. A, a paper. Paper, it's a uh -huh. film. It's a, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was, yeah, no, I remember. That was very sad for me. You're oh, very embarrassed. Like, okay. Mm. <laughs> No, I'm ready, maybe maybe you, you don't see very well or whatever. And I said, no, la me inventé el color. <laughs> no le tiene. Es uh -huh. daltónica. Daltónica, exactly. Okay. Well, this is for the present. Now we have uh, high definition, you know, uh -huh. uh, 3D movies. Okay. Now 4D, I don't know. What about the future, Eduardo? Read the future. Uh, thought? Through, thought. Through controller? Uh, thought. Uh -huh. Control. Thought, control, video games, and virtual reality movies. Ah, that's it. Virtual reality movies. This is like, what do you think it is going to happen, right? Okay, this is for the future and we don't know. I think in the future we're going to see the holograms. Yeah, like uh -huh. holograms. The holograms. This is what I think, okay? Jose, read the transportation, please. Transportation. In the, the past, past, present, and the future. Okay. Uh-huh. Railroads, 
and ocean liners. Mm -hmm. This was in the past. In the present, hybrid cars, high speed trains, and supercraft. No, spacecraft. Spacecraft. Uh -huh. spacecraft. Very good. That's it's like a. a cohetes, right? In the future. Uh, self driving cars. Uh, driven. 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 Self driven in, cars. In the present, they're. they're there, uh, there, are, there are some, right? Uh, GPS, shoes, uh, and uh -huh. time machines. And time machines? What do you think about GPS shoes? I don't know. <laughs> you they, walk they, with your shoes and they, 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 I mean, you they, say just do the shoe. I want to go to, for example, Santana. <laughs> The theater in Santana ah, and the shoes start walking by themselves. <laughs> they walk alone. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. they, they, themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. They by by themselves, right? Uh huh. It's not necessary to have a car or whatever, but they take you to that place. I don't see so. No, well, this is for the future. I don't know. <laughs> GPS shoes, right? And time machines. I don't know. Okay. Hey, Wendy's here. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Miss. Hi, how are you? Long time no see you. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. How I'm are pretty, you? I'm pretty good. Happy to see you. That's nice. Thank okay. you. Okay, now help me, Wendy, to read communication, please. Communication in the past, communication in the present, and communication in the future. Okay. Communications, the telephone, and the postal system. Mm -hmm. And the present, text messaging, video messaging. Plan, Messaging, messaging, messaging. Uh, video phone, mm -hmm. and social networking. That's it. The future, cell phone implants. Wow. A sensor internet and 3D social networking. Networking. Aha, uh -huh. very good. That's it. This is an, a question mark because we don't know what is going to happen, right? So, uh, what do you think, uh, Jose? Can you please talk about a little bit about communication in the past? How people communicated in the past? And the beeper. Mm -hmm. The beeper. Uh, so many people use the beeper and mm -hmm. use the telephone, conventional telephone. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, um, ca ca cable. With cables, uh -huh. and and ha okay. you had to dial right Zzz, mm -hmm. <laughs> with circles. Telegraph. Telegraph. And do for you to remember? Send, for to send, uh, what is the, the name? Uh -huh. Mensajitos. Send. Send. Little, you remember? Telegram. 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 Yes, Telegrams correct. Too. Telegram. I, I used to go to. Used uh -huh. to. Used to go. Letters. Yes, what the, uh, oh, letters. people used to write letters, it's true. Yeah. Uh -huh. United States to El Salvador. Yeah, oh wow, United States to El Salvador. It's, it was so it's, happy it's, to receive a letter. Yeah. Smoke, smoke signals. Yeah. It's smoke, smoke signals. Sign. <laughs> 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 no, well, it's true. That was in the past, but in our times, I don't think so, right? Uh-huh. Is this uh, uh, Mickey Mouse and... Uh, <laughs> the, the, the children, in the, the children in Capitan. bike. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the children in bike uh, go to well, to my to grandma, grandmother <laughs> and say it's this, and and the children go in the bike ah, with the message. Exactly. Like okay, tu tía le decís que, ¿verdad? It's correct. Yeah. And the child and the child was riding the bicycle, right? And the same. Como el cartero. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Similar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Similar to the postman. Mira, dice mi abuelita que te le manda la guacal. Stuff like that. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's true that it was part of uh, communication in the past. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. And also, I remember that people used to have. Uh, pigeons or doves, right? Animals, right? And put some uh, uh, yes. messages yeah, in the message. foot and the yeah. animal flew the, away, right? The birds. Mm -hmm. in, in the jails, to use that. <laughs> ah, in the jails, yes, it's true. The, the, the message in the bottle. Ah, you were watching vis a vis, right? The series. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Oh, it's a song. It's a song. Uh, oh, really? Jim, Cro- Jim Crush. I think. Ah, okay. Oh, you see. Uh-huh. So oh. nowadays, it's so easy to send a message. Even in the past, it was very difficult to send a message, a text message. And we, we used to get into Lista Sal. Do you remember? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> and send the messages. I use, right? I use. I use. <laughs> I use it too. Mostly when you had a boyfriend and a girl. Well, in your case, uh, your wife and, and, and your wives, right? In my case, yeah. I had a boyfriend. Lista Sal, Lista Sal. Uh-huh. Lista Sal disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't Nonsense. exist anymore. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, very good. So it says there are some questions here. Which of these past and present <clears throat> developments are the most important? What do you think? Entertainment, transportation, or communication? What are the most important? Communication. Communication, do you agree, Eduardo? Yeah. With communication Uh, as the most important? Transportation. Transportation, okay. Wendy, what about for you? What is the most important for you, the development most important? Entertainment, transportation, or communication? I think transport. Transportation. Okay. I think transportation. Great. Okay. Very good. Do you think any of the future developments could happen in your lifetime? Do you think that a thought control video games and virtual reality movies uh, are possible in our in the in the near future? Oh, well, self-driven cars, we already have them. But GPS shoes, do you think it is going to be possible? Is it going to happen in, the, in our time? For example, 2025, for example. What do you think? No. Cell phone implants? Yeah. Cell phone implants. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not possible, right? It sounds it sounds too I, futuristic. Uh-huh. I think I, I see the people maybe uh, implants a, a capsule to control it to IT. Ah, okay, okay. Similar, uh-huh. You have good inventions. Dog. Similar to the dog. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and check check a machine now. Check this the is machine. The uh-huh. about ah, okay. The, I think now, it's possible, but, but the in the future, I, I think the the thoughts thoughts mm-hmm. control video mm-hmm. is a, a reality aumentada. La it is increasing. Uh huh. Yeah, it's true. I think it's in the process, right? I think yeah, right now process. it's in the process. Maybe yeah, not it's... in five years, but in ten years, I think they will have something. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the and the health mm-hmm. used used to to uh for example one one doctor in this country maybe uh una, una cirugía. Ajá, he will have an operation in another country in another country yeah oh wow through cameras right mm-hmm. through camera. okay very good yes it is possible and i think it is happening there are some doctors that they are uh, manipulating some machines and the machine is working in the yeah. in the patient. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. So, you know, when we talk about this, okay, I'm going to go through this and then we go over the conversation. When we talk about past, present and future, so we have to be very careful when we talk because we have to be using, you know, in simple past expressions that help us to know that we are in past for example something important the verbs in past don't forget that for example if you say ah teacher long time ago i see the television no it's incorrect so when you are talking about past you have to change the verb into past okay for example uh, some years uh, ago, I don't have any television. No, <clears throat> you have to use the auxiliaries in past. I didn't have. So here, what we have here it are some expressions. Well, the verb in past is important. And the other one is used to. La expresión la aprendimos es solía. Okay? 
That's it. For example, in my case, I used to go to Antel. <laughs> okay, to communicate with my family. Okay. Or, or, or Blackbuster to rent a video tapes. Oh, wow, Blackbuster. Blackbuster. Raro, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. uh, I used to go to, or oh, just to rent uh, videos. All, all, all of the Blackbuster now are uh, Netflix. China Walk. China Walk. China Walk, yeah. In, in El Salvador. In El really, Salvador. really, Jose. All, yeah. all of the buildings, the oh, blockbuster. No today, way. Today are uh, China, China walks. Oh, I Santa didn't Tecla, know that. I, I, I saw. Uh -huh. One, uh, one. So all the China walks in the past were blockbusters. Block, blockbuster. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Wow. So that's amazing. <sighs> you know, they have been replacing. For do you remember las tiendas de discos? The music stores in Kismet. Metro, yes. Metro Centro. Kismet. Do you remember? Yeah, Kismet. It doesn't exist anymore. No. In the Pro stores. Ahí que vayan a ver un CD ahí. Hey. Pro <laughs> I wait, for, I wait for, uh -huh. my, for, my, for my friends pay for the cassette. Uh -huh. wait, With the cassette? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. the cassette. Uh -huh. And I re reproduce. Reproduce. Uh -huh. Reproduced? That's I, okay. I, uh, I have a copy. <laughs> Oh no way! Really? It's, it's, it's more cheap. It's more cheap. Uh, cheaper, it's, cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Mm -hmm. In blank, cassette in blank. And uh, recorded. In record. Yes. Oh correct. wow! And what kind of music did you record? I I I like the salsa. Oh salsa. really? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so you recorded. Rock. In, and rock. In Spanish rock. Okay, very good. Now, in English, not, not much. Not too much. Okay, maybe some years later, you are right. I, I think you develop the taste to listen to English music. Uh, in this case, uh, when, we, when we have this past tense, you use different, well, you can use uh, only the verb in past, or you can use the expression used to. But remember, when you say used to, the verb is in present, okay? In present, no in past. And this is like something that is a, will never happen again. So here we use the verb only in past as well as the last one. So you use expressions like a few years ago, in 1994, because those are past years, right? Uh, last year, five years ago, okay? Uh, in the first century, in the 20th century, I don't know, depending on what you want to say. Then, if you want to compare the past to the present, so you have to use time expressions related to present. These days, today, nowadays, siempre la gente dice actually, but actually is not actualmente. This is, miren, aquí está. Nowadays is actualmente. Actually is in realidad. So it's different. Okay? And the verb is in the present tense. Okay? No in past. No in future. Etc. Then you are going to compare something to the future. You have to use will, going to, or might. Might is this in this case. Um, a model that helps us to know about possibilities in the future, okay? For example, well, los zapatos que vuelan pueda que existan en 10 años. So in English, the flying shoes might exist in 2030, for example. So I am using might to express future possibility. Will is another one that we are going to use for future, but you have to use the, um, the expressions for future, okay? For example, here it says, soon there will be apartment blocks everywhere, okay? There will be, habrán, okay? This is like the expression, there will be, habrán o habrá, depends, singular or plural. Right? Then uh, the other one is be going to, 
Ok, por ejemplo, la gasolina va a ser más cara el otro año. So, this is future. Ok, por ejemplo, the past. Miren cómo puedo usar past, present, and future. Eh, let me see. 20 years ago, the gasoline used to be cheap. These days, the gasoline is not, is not cheap, but not very expensive. It's three and something. I went to the gas station today and I, I bought um, the gallon at, let me see, 3.30. But in the future, according to the studies, the gasoline will be very, very expensive. Okay, so in this case, whenever you are talking about past, the verb has to be in past, in present, the expressions in present and the verb in present, and the future expressions for future. Soon, in a few years, okay, in this case, in the future, okay, within five weeks, okay, dentro de cinco días, cinco semanas, etc. okay, within five weeks, within five months, within five years, soon, okay, or in the future to talk about it general, okay? Uh, we're gonna have an activity, so right now, Eduardo, you are going to, you are going to talk about, okay, well, we have here, <coughs> we have here a, a, some, I'm gonna share with you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna share okay, with I'm you uh, some little topics, right? Some little topics in the past, and I want you to tell me the present, and I want you to tell me in the future, right? For example, uh, Eduardo, you are going to talk about environment, el ambiente, okay? Eduardo, environment. Start, environment. start uh, thinking about your ideas. Jose, you are going to talk about let me see education okay okay how how things changed how will things be different in the future it says choose the topics then discuss the questions below but anyways we're gonna do it like this uh, eduardo you're gonna have environment jose education and my friend wendy you're gonna talk about okay let me see food wendy I want you to make a comparison between, well, in, different, in the three tenses. In the past, what is the food in the present? And what is it like in the, okay, the present? And how is it going to be, okay, like in the future? The idea is to use the three different tenses and the expressions that we have. Eduardo, can you please give me some ideas about the environment, please? Uh, a few years ago, mm -hmm. the environment in my neighbor neighborhoods mm -hmm. neighborhood was quiet. Uh -huh. Very very quiet. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. The, that's, okay that's okay. That's okay. Uh -huh, el ambiente. It's not necessary to 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 the weather and the climate change. No, could be the environment in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very uh, quiet. Uh -huh. But but in this time, in, uh -huh. or in, this, in these days, uh -huh. the environment is a, a very noise, noisily. Very no noisy. Noisy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think in the future, <laughs> Soon, the environment will be the double, <laughs> the double <laughs> noisy like 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 today. Uh -huh. two times like, more. Like today. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay, the, the the environment will be uh huh or or yeah. I was in the in a friend's house on Saturday afternoon. Uh -huh. Ooh, but we couldn't talk. It was impossible to talk. The noise of a church near. 
the noise of the cars and the buses passing by in front. The noise of a neighbor behind because he had a party. I think it was a birthday party. I could listen to Sepillin. Oh my okay. Lord. <laughs> it was difficult to talk in the house. So I said, gosh, and what do you do? I mean, no, I mean, it's a, we get desperate and sometimes we go to shopping centers. So uh -huh. you cannot be in your house. Well, not sometimes not because the church starts at 3 p.m. Blah, 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 blah. blah. But the noise is too much. It's too much. Okay. So that would be even noisier, right? You can say más ruidoso que ahora noisier. Okay. Noisier. This is the comparative. Uh -huh. Noisier than uh, today. Okay. Very good. Very good. What about education? Jose. Okay. Uh, in education, for example, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, teachers were more demanding. Very good. I agree. Were more demanding. And no, no what days. Mm -hmm. no, no what days. days. Nowadays, uh, the schools use uh, computers for, for education. Or, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. And in the future, and in, in the future, uh, all of the education will be only virtual. Ah, okay, very good. There won't be necessity to to go to a to a uh, to school. There won't be any necessity to to have even teachers, right? Uh huh. Everything will be Vir virtual. Vir uh -huh. Vir virtual Vir teachers. Virtual teachers with holograms. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Good. Very good. Very good. I I agree with you. What do you prefer, the education in the past or the education in the present? In the past. In the past. Okay. In the past. Uh, I uh, see the difference in the university where I studied. I see the difference a lot. Uh, you you are right, the teachers were more demanding. The thing is that nowadays the teachers have become very old and they don't have maybe the energy to teach. Uh, but unfortunately, the new people, the new generations that want to take those plazas or whatever, they are not given the chance to be there because the old people doesn't want to, to go or to move, you know or to give the chance for the new generation to be teaching. So in this case of education is, is very difficult, okay? And I understand that teachers need the money, uh, but there is a limit, I consider. There is a, a limit for everything. Okay, very nice. This is related to education. What about Wendy, if you can listen to me about food? Food in the past? food in the present, and what do you think it's going to be like in the future? Uh, I think uh, food in the past mm -hmm. um, will maybe 20 years ago, uh -huh. the food was more, um, I don't know how to say, ah, homemade. Ah, homemade. Uh -huh. Like that. Uh -huh. And uh, nowadays, the food is there are a lot of junk food mm -hmm. and a lot of um, prepared food or I don't know With, how to say yeah. comida latina. Yeah, canned food. Canned food. Okay. Yes, very and, good. <laughs> I don't know, in the future maybe um, will be just canned food. Uh-huh. Uh, the organic food will disappear. Oh, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, or we will consume, uh, I don't know, capsules. My breakfast. <laughs> my breakfast. <laughs> oh, I forgot my capsule for lunch. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Very good, Wendy. Yes, it's true. I, I, I agree with you too. I think that the organic food will disappear soon. For the fertilizers everything is contaminating you know the, the 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 food that we have nowadays if i can give you a piece of advice if you go to a supermarket to buy your vegetables don't buy the big ones okay 
because the bigger, the more contaminated the vegetable is. So you have to buy a normal tomato that would be like this, not the big tomato. I have a thought about it. Uh-huh, tell me, Wendy. Uh, Hello, Wendy. I think the people buy eat uh, vegetables in the supermarket. Hi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I think that people uh, buy vegetables in the supermarket have a lot of money because, well, uh, because in the supermarket are really expensive. I yeah. usually yeah. go to the market on Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So I buy in the market. It's cheaper. A lot yes. cheaper, a lot cheaper. Yes, I agree with you. I like to go to the market. Too. Yes, it's true. I uh, I go to the market too. Uh, well, if I don't go, someone else go. <laughs> but uh, we buy the vegetable and fruits in the market, not in the supermarket. Uh, it, it's more expensive. Uh huh. It's true. Okay, that's it. Organic, right? Uh, this is uh, you know this is the beginning of section number four. Okay, this is what we're gonna be discussing uh, these days uh, about the past, the present, and the future. Something that we have to remember is to change the tenses because this is the most difficult part when you are speaking English, that you confuse the verbs, right? You talk in past, but the verb is in present. You talk in future, but the verb is in past. I don't know, there is a mix. No, specifically you three, I'm talking about in general, okay? That's why tomorrow we're gonna have a discussion class, right? I'm gonna be sharing with you different topics and you have to give me the opinions, but pay attention whenever you want to give your opinion, okay? Think about the kind of verb that you're gonna use. Present, past or future, past, present or future, okay? That's it. This is uh, for further explanation. You can check your uh, section four in your platform. You can watch the videos and you can start, okay, doing the exercises right there. Remember, we, uh, we are about to finish next week. So we are about to finish. And um, this is the, the stuff here. To finish, write the five sections to practice, okay, until you you get your score. Remember, the score, if I'm not wrong, is eight, right? In the platform, uh -huh, in the platform. But this is your class with me. This is more, this is like something extra that you get from the platform. Great. Very nice, guys. Okay, practice uh, for tomorrow, right? We continue with the topic, but I'm going to give you extra topics for discussing. And uh, we're going to mix the three tenses, the most difficult tenses whenever you want to talk, you know, past, present, and future. That's it, okay? If you have questions, let me know via WhatsApp, okay? okay. I'm going to be there assisting you. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. My pleasure to have you today, okay? See you. Bye-bye, guys. See you. Bye -bye. See you. Bye. -bye. Bye.